Hello and welcome to another Hyper How To on setting your shock slider height. We will begin with setting your shock slider height for wingless racing. Step 1. Have shock connected to bottom of front axle and fully extended. Next, with shock fully extended, take your travel indicator and set a half inch gap from body of shock. Next, you will compress the body of the shock to the indicator to avoid the shock from topping out on the rod guide assembly. With your gap and stroke length set, go ahead and move your shock clamp to the top of the eye of the shock to set your height. We like to use a flat head screwdriver to pry open clamp to make adjusting easier. With your clamp set, make sure your front axle is still resting on the frame to achieve max transfer for wingless racing. Once all that looks good, go ahead and tighten down your clamp. You'll follow the same procedure for the right front as well. The right front stays the same for wingless and winged racing. Setting shock clamp height for winged is just for the left front. With your cart ride height, measure the left front from the ground to the bottom of the frame rail. Your shock shaft measurement should be greater than your ride height. If it is not, you'll need to extend shock height to achieve this. We use adjustable shock clamps in the front of our cars because all the shock manufacturers vary in overall body length. Something new for 2022 is our threaded shock cap. They hold the clamp on in case the clamp comes loose. Please subscribe and follow for more awesome innovation that is Hyper Racing.